Hey guys, what is going on? Two amateurs played it. Just me today, solo round. I decided to come out here on Eclipse Day. Which, if you can't tell, it's kind of cloudy right now. <laughs> so, uh, in an early morning. So, hope to get done before the eclipse gets here at New London Tech, playing the shorts. My goal today is to get my personal best, which is 26 over right now. So, my goal is 20 over. We'll see. You guys ready? Let's go. Dirty, dirty dog, dog. Go in. Oh. Nice. Good birdie, Daryl. Hole one, par three, 323. You got our tees. I do like these uh, tee pads. When I first came, I didn't like them, but now I kind of got to like them. Straight down this tight fairway, uh, OB right pretty much the entire first 10 holes. <laughs> and the basket is right there behind that clump of trees. Let's go. Hey guys, starting off with my diamond. First shot, no warm up. We'll see. Really good for me. There you guys. Uh, not a bad shot for me. Uh, caught one of these little roots. It would have had a little forward skip, but it didn't. Uh, go with my road runner. Try to get a little flip up. Kind of got lucky. That might have skipped OB. Okay, first putt of the day. I can get a par on this, that'd be awesome because I getting a par out here for me is really difficult. So we'll see. Yes. I think that actually might be my first par on hole one. <laughs> hole two, uh, six twelve, par four. Uh, on the longs, it's over 900 feet. Big, huge difference. So, going down this gap, and there's a, um, like a drain kind of in the middle, and we kind of want to go toward that and just have it fade back just a little. Again, all the way down right, right side is OB, and the basket is way down that way, and then to the left. Let's go. All right, guys, going with my... My first real forehand of the round with my Saint Pro. I'm kind of excited. I've got some new discs coming in, some uh, more latitude plastic, and a couple of uh, cool stamps coming in. I can't wait to get those. So let's see what the first throw is like with my forehand. Oh, come out, come out, come out. That's bad. You really have to be in the fairway on this hole. All right, I'm in a terrible spot over here. Uh, we'll see, I mean, in reality, I should just try to chip out. What, what fun is that? And there's lots of little prickly bushes around here, so. Should be right on the edge so okay, not quite as friendly as i had hoped i am stuck behind this tree i am not even 200 off the tee pad 
going for my third shot in the storm drain that i was talking about is uh right over here so there we go <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go with my Rebecca Cox Latitude 64 Diamond, turn it upside down. Got this a couple years ago and absolutely love it. Um, I brought out my other diamond for a while, put this one back in the bag the other day. Feels good, feels real good. Oh no, too far inside again. This is why you want to be on the fairway. Well, <laughs> you guessed it. If there's going to be some dead logs around, I'm going to find them. <laughs> and uh, I'm still over 200 from <laughs> the pin, and this is for par. <laughs> this is what this course can do. I think I'm still short of the fairway. Right. This is for five. And for those who want to know why we call it two amateurs play disc golf, this is it right here. <laughs> this is this is the really amateur portion. Um, hopefully we get back to the not quite so amateur. It's all right. This is this is for bogey. I'm still every bit of a hundred short and on a slope under the one tree that's in the fairway. <laughs> All right, well, this is for double. <laughs> Too far outside, come back. All right. Should have that tap in for uh, a seven. Right, somebody once asked me, why do I record these short little putts? It's because I'm an amateur and I miss these sometimes. <laughs> so try to tap in my pure for my, my triple bogey. There we go. Hole three, 275, par three. This is just straight down there. <laughs> Again, remember, oh, fingers in the way. <laughs> remember, OB right all the way down. You don't want to be left in all this junk over here. I want to take a forehand, but I'm afraid I'm going to have it go out of bounds. So I'm going to take my backhand and hopefully get it down there. I know I can't quite reach it. You know, again, noodle arm, but let's see what we can do. Okay, going with my Latitude 64 Diamond in the Opto Plastic. See what we can do. Well, I threw it straight out of bounds, but I got a good tree kick. Uh, one thing I don't like about the the shorts here, I think last time I was here, only one hole had a bench, but every other hole on the longs has one. Uh, I think by worlds they will fix that. Let's go. Okay, I, I just measured and it's a, it's about 170 to the hole, so that means I threw it about 100. But again, I got a lucky kick. Going with my Road Runner, just trying to have it out to the to the left and have it fade back. Oh no. Out to the left, hit a tree, fade back. All right, got a, <laughs> got a long putt. Uh, just outside of C1, I believe. The uh, Since they got the course, they used to have the tassels, but they're not here right now. So again, that's another thing. I expect them to upgrade by worlds. So here we go. rolled perfectly behind that tree. <laughs> oh. 
pole four, par three, 286, uphill. Uh, I will say it still hurts to get a, uh, a bogey on that last one. But anyway, we're past it now. Uh, here's our tee pad and up the hill, fairly steep hill. And then you'll see a couple of trees kind of leaning over. You kind of want to go to that second tree that's leaning over and have it fade back to the hole. If you can throw that far, I cannot. <laughs> so my goal is to get it over top of the hill and kind of see where it ends up from there. All right, going with my Katrina Allen sail. Um, go cat. It's a, just try to, for me, just try to get to the top of the hill and see where we go from there. Oh no. All right. Okay. I threw it too low. We got a nice skip up to the up to the center. Should have a good forehand, hopefully to the hole, because there's a lot of trees okay. up there. Go on my road runner. Um camera can't quite see it from here because there's so many trees in the way. I'm gonna be aiming at that tree that's leaning over. Try to get the fade back. Uh, one last guardian tree at the end. All right, I got a par putt. Definitely a little longer than I wanted. Definitely need to get this par to kind of make up for the last hole. That is a big putt to make. So that's a good par. Hey guys, this is where the course starts getting really difficult for me. The next uh, three, four, five, six, eight holes, something like that. It's it's a long stretch of difficult holes for me. Uh, hole five, par four, 519. Uh, we start off up this side hill and there's a retention pond just over that hill, kind of right up there. And that's OB. Uh, left side's all OB. And if you see that tree line way back there, the basket is back inside of that. Now there is a really good uh, flat spot just before the retention pond. If you can hit that, that's really where you want to be. Yeah, you I'm gonna use my, my sail. Uh, kind of throw it to a little bit to the left and hopefully it comes back up the hill. We'll see, we'll see. It hit and, and rolled a little bit. It kind of did a little loop. So it's on the side of the hill. Not optimal. We'll see. Okay, guys, I ended up in a pretty decent spot. Again, if I was 20 feet to the right, well, to the right, <laughs> would have been a perfect spot. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the, I don't know if you guys can see the basket way down there. Just trying to get it over the retention pond. You know, my, my goal in this hole is a bogey. That's good for me, so we'll see. Yeah, let's say flat foot it. Uh, that was a good shot, cleared it easily, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, got a little forward roll, I might have an angle to get up and okay, down for This par. is uh, one of the tough parts about this course is, well, there's a lot of tough things, but um, I'm in the middle of the fairway, still got a ton of trees to contend with. Hopefully I can hit my gap over to the left and have it fade back. And with my road runner. Hit my gap perfect. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, from here, it looks 15 to 20. 
We'll see when we get up there. Yeah, that was a really good upshot for me. I am probably 15 feet for a par. I think this might be the first par I've ever got on this hole. If I make it, go ahead and post Jinx down below. <laughs> Hole six, par five, and everyone has heard of this monster hole right here. Uh, 985. Now, uh, that's right around 300 feet shorter than the longs. So, what we want to do is, because uh, we're, we started over on the right side of the fairway, so I'm going forehand, trying to take it out kind of toward the tree line and bring it back. Uh, again, OB, right all the way down uh now that i believe this will be the hole for the uh the pros on the the fpo side there is a manhole cover i just measured it it's 360 feet all right that's two shots for me if i'm lucky but uh fpo players y'all can get it out there to that that's a really good spot so now let's see what i can do with hey, it um for those who don't know uh us 460 is right there <laughs> It's a, it's a good throw from here, but it's just right there. So there you go. Again, I'm going with my sail. I'm just gonna try to aim to the left and hope it doesn't go in to the left and hope it doesn't come all the way back to the OB. We'll see. Yep, that went OB. I think my tee shot went out just short um, of this big tree right here. So I'm taking my meter relief. Uh, one of the things I think that happens on this hole is the tee pad is, is coming straight down the side over here instead of aiming toward the middle of the fairway. I think that's what I did on that one. It just kind of went straight with it instead of angling on my tee shot. It's on me, it's not on the tee pad just a thought so just something to think about when you're playing uh, where's the tee pad angled at something to think about okay basically doing the same shot and this is my third so still a long long way to go there we go that's I skipped close to OB, but I think we're still I in am inside the line. So I'm on the good side by about a foot. Now, I believe the rule is I can still get a meter off of that line. Uh, down below, uh, put a comment below if, even though I'm inbounds, do I still get a meter off of that line? Because I think that the rule is that you do get a meter off of it. So I'm going to take that meter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I really need it, but I'm going to take it. Right here. That's gonna be about right there. So basically that's for me with my tiny little feet, that's about the width of one disc from where I was. But it kinda kinda gets me a little relief from that one tree right there. Again, comment below if that's right or wrong. Let me know. And this is for four. That was two OBs on this hole, so now we're going for six. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the, this is what this course can do to you, and my disc was in the middle of this creek, and my socks are now wet. It is what it is. But I got my disc back. <laughs> now stay down. That might be OB too. You guys can see I am OB by like three inches. <laughs> so that means I'm going for eight. <laughs> Straighten that up. There we go. Ah. The dog on. Let's see about, about right there. All right. 
ねえ。Try to clear the. There's more OB right here in front of us. Try to clear that. Let's see. Oh no! Come back. That was gonna be up there in the green. Clip that one limb, OB. So I think it came out right about here. So now we're going for. 10, I think. Man, the thing of it is, I don't feel like I've really thrown too many bad shots. Just those OBs, repeatedly. Wow. And we got over that time. Okay, guys, I think this is for 12. No, I think this is for 11. I think that was for 10. I think this is for 11. In editing, I will know for sure. So, uh, again, I'm saying this is for 11, I'm not 100%. Okay, <laughs> okay if nothing else, my putting's on today. <laughs> Hole seven, par five, uh, 643. I think for the FPO, this might be a par four, but hey. It's par five, it's par five. <laughs> All right. I just measured down to this bridge is about 245. So that's kind of where I'm gonna try to get to. And then you go up and over the hill. There's a landing spot over there. Then you go across kind of, you know, right to about there somewhere. Um, there's a valley down there that's all OB. So yeah, I took four OBs on the last hole. Hoping to take no more the rest of the round. Fingers crossed. All right, I'm gonna take my diamond, throw a backhand, and just try to get close to that little tree in the middle. Get down, get down, get down. Okay, I'm not OB, but you don't wanna be pinched off on that side. We'll see what we can do. All right, well, again, I'm kind of pinched off here a little bit. Um, take my Roadrunner, try to turn it. Hopefully it flexes back and I'm not squaring some trees up here. We'll see. Now flex out. Nope, right in the tree. I flexed out right into the tree. <laughs> okay, it was actually not in those trees. But I'm still in a terrible place because I need to go straight through that tree uh, across a, a valley down there. I am nowhere near being uh, close enough and have the arm. I'm going to take my soul. I'm going to try to get it down this way and to the right some. Hope it doesn't get on the hill and start rolling down it. Let's see. Here's the, the big OB that I was talking about. Uh, I'm gonna take my Saint Pro. Uh, I am, I measure is like right at 220, 230, something like that. Let's see if I can get it there. Come out, come out. <laughs> that was gonna be right there. Come on. All right, taking my penalty stroke. So this will be, that was three, four. All right, this will be for five. Ah. That's such a good shot too. Landed over and got a puck. Hey guys, I I went and picked up that disc, that first shot. Man, it was like five feet out of bounds. It would have been beautiful, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, I did the math. I think this is my sixth shot um, in editing. 
you know, I, I would know for sure, and I'll be sure to get it right. But as of right now, I think it's six. It's either six or seven. I'm not 100% which, you know. <laughs> so anyway, got a putt. Let's see. So I'm saying six, but like I say, in editing, if it's seven, it'll be down below. Hole eight, uh, up a hill. And I'm playing off of the new uh, FPO pads. And the other one, the original one, is right over there. You see that one actually does have a bench, which I think is the only one on the course for shorts. But anyway, <laughs> but I'm playing this one. I, I guess it's probably close to the same. But this one is straight uphill, very, very tight, narrow gap. Get all the way up there. So we'll see. I think it's a part four, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna go with my Saint Pro. And I checked this, this is a part four. Very, very steep uphill. Let's see. Come through it. It's kind of on the old uh, left gap going up the hill. See what we got. Okay, guys, I'm still a long ways away. Um, I'm going to take my forehand through this gap up here and try to have it come back because it's kind of over that way. My backhand is definitely not good enough. Plus, there's this one tree in the way. It's going to really mess with me. Wish me luck, really. Okay, lots going on here. One, obviously I'm direct, directly behind this tree, but two, I mean, there's just nothing but a forest between me and that pin. I mean, forehand, backhand, oh my gosh. And what I would normally do here is throw a forehand high and have it come back. Uh, there's no spot for that. Wow, this isn't fun. <laughs> I'm gonna take my soul, try to thread a gap over here, have it come back. Uh, this is my third shot, so I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility to get a par here. Never mind, I see my angle. It's it's not gonna happen. Yeah. I mean, I really had nothing there. Still a ways away, just gonna to try to get up and down for bogey from here. Because this is for par. I think that's par, should be able to tap it in. And tap in for bogey. Hole nine, par five. 716 feet uh interesting fact and everybody i've talked to is very glad about this they have changed the angle of the t-pad where it's coming out here to the open side of the fairway it used to point kind of straight here where you're going i mean it's technically still fairway but all these trees are right in the way but now it's aimed toward the actual fairway great job great job and the pin you can see that pole right down there. It is just below that pole or just before it, I believe. Unless it's the one after that. I think it's that one. <laughs> so I know we go down this hill, up the hill, and it's still a long ways. And for those who wonder, the longs are straight back there. That is about 500 feet difference from the short and the longs. It's quite a hike. All right, guys, gonna throw my sail. If I can get it at least to the bottom of this hill, let's see. No, 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 no. Okay. Kind of lost my balance a little bit off the end, but it's still in balance. Okay, I was actually very short on that uh, shot there. 
on my tee shot. So still got a long ways to go. If you guys can see that pole right there, the basket is just in front of that. So it's a long ways from here. Oh, one of the things that's kind of cool, as some of the homes back over here, they will put um, some coolers out here where you can buy sodas, which is kind of cool. Got over it real well, so who knows? Maybe I got an up and down for a birdie. Okay, nowhere near as close as I thought I was. I'm, I'm still like 315 to the pin. Hopefully, I can still get a par from here. Just gotta get a decent shot here, then have a good up shot for a tap in. Lift. Wow, I got a huge wind lift there. Almost took it out of bounds. That's a frustrating one there. Okay, uh, not gonna lie, I'm very frustrated with this one because uh, I really thought I was gonna have a nice up shot from here, a nice easy one uh, after that last shot, but unfortunately, wind lifted, threw it way over here. Now I'm a fairly long ways away for my up shot. I mean, for me, so it's gotta get lucky to get up and down to, to get that par. Like I say, FPO, if they're playing this, there's gonna be a lot of Eagles hat on it if they're playing on this layout and they have it as a par five. If it's a par four, you got a lot of birds, but if it's a par five, you get a lot of Eagles for the, the FPO. Oh no. All right, so now I've got right at uh, about a 30 footer for my par. Frustrating, but I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big make. Momentum changer. Okay, guys, that is the front nine here at Paul McBeth's New London Tech Course, uh, playing the shorts. Uh, scores will be down here below. I know what I think I have. I'm not 100%. I think I'm at plus 12, but like I say, uh, a couple of those holes, I may have missed a shot because there's so many OBs. We'll see. <laughs> but, uh, Definitely check out the back nine coming up and the eclipse should be coming soon. Right now it's very cloudy. So we'll see if there's an eclipse. Should be in about two hours. Hopefully I'm off the course by then. We'll see, but that's all we got. And you guys have an incredible day.